Now then, guys, how are you doing? Back on the road again. So today, right, we've entered into Manchester because there's been this place that's been blowing up on social media and pe uh, the messaging box that we've got at Rate My Takeaway has just been going ding, dilla, ding, 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 ding. I've got to go try Liv's Takeaway and Catering over in Manchester. Now, apparently, they're cooking it in their house, they're serving it to you, they're fetching it out, take away, off you go, off you go home. So I'm going to take my table and chair, see if I can have a meal outside Liv's and see what it's all about because I think it's like uh, Portuguese, is it going food, stuff like that. So I'm intrigued to try it because one, I like eating outdoors. Two, what's better than somebody saving it from the kitchen? And three, it's me. <laughs> so come on, let's go see what's going on. Liv, I'm on my way. Food, glorious food, pineapple and custard. <laughs> so we're, we're nearly here, I'm driving up some uh, back streets of Manchester. It looks all right around here, cameraman. And we're looking for lives. It's supposed to be popular, so chances are it could be pretty busy. You never know. I think it's like done. You phone up, put your order in. Or you can put it in via via Uber or something like that. But I'm just going to rock up and see if I can and order it myself. You know I me, mean? I'm a bit unusual. You're unusual as a fat guy in the van. I'm quite hungry today as well, so. Uh, let me tell you, and I think, looking at it, so whenever we get all these emails from people saying, Danny, go here, go here, try this, um, and, and tell cameraman and editor, they're like, look, have a look at this big lad. I, I'm, I'm looking at some of the food and I'm thinking, that looks a bit weird, a bit weird and wonderful. So there might be a few flavours here that uh, I've not had before. So I'm, I'm, I look forward to that. You know, I'm not saying that I don't like kebabs and fish and chips and burgers, but you know, Sometimes you just stumble upon something that's a flavour sensation, don't you, that you've not really had before. And this is what I'm looking for. Not Well, not that, because they'll just sell crisps in there, but... <laughs> what? How'd you work that out? It says fish and chips, and it's called Canton Place. Chinese. <laughs> here we go. Let's let let's let these through here. Told... Oh, he's, he's, he's... What's he doing here? Is he reversing in? I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you go. Learn the driver. Learn it reverse park. Oh, I remember being all back in the day with me doing this. I got taught by a bloke I used to work with Pete, and uh, we used to finish work and he had a little Ford Fiesta, a little blue Ford Fiesta. It said E-Man on back because he had E-Man dual controls. Amount of times and they put my head through a window because we were, we were tapping on them. So look, so I've I've pulled up right to to let this person practice their reverse park. And there's some idiot who's just pulled him behind, scaring him half to death. Eh, you've got to learn, haven't you? You've got to learn. 40 something, wasn't it? 46 or 49 or something, but I think. See, I think they might have a sign it window. Remember this when I went to Grandma's kitchen? Hey, up, scout group. Might be at scouts cooking it up on the trolley there, look. Making you a bit barbecue. <laughs> I bet mean, it might be down here with this car with lights on. That could be a delivery driver, that. It is and all. <laughs> How's that cameraman? Right, let's get parked up on here, look. We'll get parked up here, out at road. It says, lives at takeaway and caterers. What's that note to go with? Uh, reverse back a bit, because I'm over somebody's drive. Well, makeshift drive. Come on, man. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Right, guys, so we're here. Put it into park, and on here. They've got door wide open. Doors wide open, windows are open. Yeah, they've got hygiene sticking in window, trip advisor. <laughs> What's all this about? Surely they're not leaving the door open in there. They're not not eating bills have gone up. Right, let's go. Let's go find out what's going on, cameraman. Let's go sort this out. Come on. Whoa. Right, guys. Oh, God. Cameraman, look at this. Pat myself on a bit of a... Doing that. Do me, do me fat ankle in one. <laughs> Right, do you know what, guys? I'm going to mix it up today. I'm going to go see what's going on first. Put Toad Knacker Cracker away. Oh, my legs are a bit stiff. You know, driving to Manchester. Right, come on, cameraman. Let's go see what's happening and we'll get to table in a bit. Right, guys, here we go. Look at this. Huh? Walking down somebody's path. It smells amazing, this, you know. Right, I've gone there. Hiya, Hi, mate. You're right? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. So, 
I, well, I can see there, it says there that you're the best takeaway in Manchester 2022. Thank you very much. All right, you're, right, you're yeah. flying all over social media, so I've come down to try it out and see what there is. So, have you got a menu? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Please come in. Come on in. Come on, cameraman. Oh, hell, hell. this is Please nice. Seat, yeah. Very homely. Oh, I'm liking this. Thank you. Okay, um, this is our menu. Right, this is your menu. Yeah, by the way, my name is Michael, and my wife's name is Sipona. She's inside. Well, nice to meet you. Yeah. I'm my name's Danny. Danny. <laughs> Thank you very much, Danny. So, nice yeah. to meet you, Michael. So, well, you've got a lot of appetizers on here and mains. What's what's the most popular dishes that people have well, been having? I would highly recommend you to go for the Joris Pao because that is a familiar uh, appetizer or, you know, it's uh, straight food in Goa. Right, right. And what, what is it? Uh, it's chorizo. Right. Uh, the gold made. We don't, it's a gold made chorizo, but the thing is, like, you know, we prepare everything right from the scratch. So is, is it like Goan cuisine, this? Yes, is that what it is? It is absolutely Goan cuisine, Indo-Portuguese, right. yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's yeah. Indo-Portuguese cuisine. So how long have you been doing this then from here? Uh, we started on the 4th of November 2021. Right. Yeah, and then from there, you know, we were on the Manchester Evening News on the 28th of May. Right. And then we got the award on the, uh, on the 18th of September, yeah, which we nominated which we were nominated yeah. for the best takeaway in Manchester for the England's Business Awards 2022. Amazing. And we won it. I, do you know what? These guys will tell you who's watching. I love success stories like this where you've just thought, do you know what? I've got a bit of space here. All right. Thank you very much. Dan. You know, I can see you've got a family and you've just used your initiative and you've put something together and obviously people are liking it because you've won an award. So I can't, and I'm sat here and I'll tell you something, guys, I'm dribbling. <laughs> I can smell it. Uh, so we're going to try this then. And what else do you recommend on there? For the main side, if you would like to go for anything curry, yeah, like I would highly recommend you to go for the mutton shakuti or the chicken shakuti. The choice is yours. Either if you would like to go for mutton or chicken, I'll go for mutton, please. So you like to go for the mutton shakuti? Would you like to have it with naan bread or would you like to have it with uh, rice, basmati rice? I'll have it with a bit of both, please, if that's all right. So that's one all... naan and one rice. Right? Yeah, yeah, if that's Absolutely. okay. Yeah. And then what about another appetizer? So I've got the sausage. Yeah. What's... Would, you, would you like to try the uh, croquette? What's that? That's, you know, the beef croquette. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the beef croquette. So uh, do you make that yourself? I, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, that sounds good. Yeah, I'll try one of them then, please. All right. That's great. Yeah. yeah that's what so I... you like to have the beef croquette, the gone sausage pan. Yeah. And for the mains, you would like to go for the mutton chakoti with naan bread and steamed rice. That sounds brilliant. Yeah. Sounds yeah. brilliant, that. Thank you very much. And if you just let me know how much it is, we'll settle the bill. And... What do I do? Do I just wait here or? Well, well it's a takeaway. Yeah. Yeah. So it, since you are my guest, like, you know, <laughs> I, 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 I will not mind you having yeah. it over here. Right? Well, I can go right. outside. I've got a table and chair because I'm actually going to eat it out I'm there. I'm not chasing you away from my home. <laughs> <laughs> So what I'll do is I might go and get my table and chair in a bit and set it up outside then if that's all right and then you can fetch me the food out. Yeah. Fetch it all fine. out together, yeah? Yeah, absolutely fine. Lovely. Thank Would you. Would like you like to drink anything for you? Uh, oh, uh, do you sell drinks, yeah? I do not oh, sell you do drinks, not. yeah. It's not the right. Well, I'm all right then. I, I think You're I've got okay a bottle of water in my van, so we're okay. All right. Thank you very much, Michael. You're welcome. There you go. Right, guys, there you go. So look at that. They, they invited me into their home to, to wait, which is great. All right, front door already open. So, do you know what? I'm going to go in a minute, get the table and chair out, see if I can find a bottle of water in the fridge in the van or something knocking about and get ready for this. But I'll tell you something, I mean, the prices on there, they look spot on. You know what I mean? Like the starters between three and five quid. Have you got that menu, please, yes. Michael? I can just have a a quick look at just so I can just tell, tell the viewers. So, yeah, because the, the prices are really good as well, aren't they? Thank you very much, yeah. You know... If you're just trying to, you know... It's not like the running, running the business is just the main uh, uh, main motor for us. Like you know, yeah. we want every Mancunian or Manchester, you know, to taste the food and you know, so that every person could have the food on well, the table. Well, I, I hate to burst your bubble, but I ain't Mancunian. <laughs> no worries at all. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm from. I, I live in Leeds at the moment. Okay. Uh, but I'm from I'm from Barnsley, so we, we've took a bit of a trip to come over and try it. Wow. Uh, so so yeah, it's. Uh, we should be honoured to have you. No, no, here, look, mate. I just like my food. Do you know what I mean? We'll make um, sure that 
you enjoy it. I can smell it and it smells great, but no, I was just saying to you so that the prices, so that the sausage, that, that's a fiver. Uh, the croquettes are three quid. That's cheap, that, isn't it? And then how, how much is it for the curry? The modern chapati is seven pounds. Yeah. Right. And then the naan, yeah. So, wow. It is cheap, isn't it? Right. So, would you like to have like one portion of croquette or would you like to have two portions of croquette? It's three in a portion. Yeah, just one, please. One. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't feed the cameraman. Okay. He, he has to starve. No, no, he'll. Because uh, what I'll do is I, I just taste all the food. Yeah. And then he'll have a little taste afterwards. Okay. Uh, okay. If there's enough left. <laughs> so yeah, guys, just just going through the menu here. There's a lot of seafood on here. There's fish, prawns, bream. Eh? Well, you don't get that, do you? Eh, a bit of bream. It's, it's very rare you get that from a takeaway. Then you've got rices and pastas, different goan people, eh? Polo. <laughs> I can't even say half of this. Mutton biryani. So you, you basically you mix up rice. You've got goat fish curry rice, fish platter, and then beef dishes, pork dishes, pork cutlets, pork vindaloo, pork admas. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to this. It smells great. And the fact that it's in their own home. All right. They've got a family. Kids are off at school. These guys are cooking. They're open. Tuesday to Saturday, 11 till 10. So they're putting graft in. They're able to do it at home, aren't they? Like I said, order it on Uber. You can order it a pick up here. Great. I love it. I love it. And the fact that, obviously, the council have bought into this. It gives people an opportunity because they've not got the overheads to pay of of commercial property and the high rents that some people are charging the fact that people have voted for him as best takeaway in manchester come on right guys let's let michael know i'm gonna go set my table up oh two knacker cracker away yeah, i'd much rather sit here and flip telly on put my feet up nice tv that's got curve <laughs> come on michael i'm just gonna go sit outside and put my table up mate all right yes yep, yep lovely and then when you come out yeah. i'd like to have a little bit of a chat as well about Goa and Portugal and all yeah, that and all yeah, your in. Sorry. All right, you get your phone. Right, come on, come on. <laughs> right, guys. Oh, I, I, I so much wish I could give you smell a vision. Yeah, smell a vision because the smells in there. Wow. Right, let's get van open. Oh, two table and chair out. Oh, here we go. So the smell's coming out. I'm sat there on this sofa and oh, I could just smell it cooking and smell the different spices. Oh God, I can smell it now. It smells amazing. It's got like a, uh, it, at first I thought it was like a bacon butty or something going on. <laughs> a little bit of sweetness, a bit of curry powder, but oh no, not all going on there. Right, it's all knackered crackers. It's hanging out again, cameraman. I think it's these joggers, you know. Uh, I've got my rugby top on today, guys. Huh? <laughs> Here we go. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Oh. Here we go. Right, chair test. Oh. So, like I said, you sent us loads of emails, messages. A friend of mine, Nathan, he messaged me as well. He says, Dan, you need to try this place out. And I tell you, just going off smell, smells great. And like Michael was saying, so they've won the, the Manchester Takeaway Awards, the best takeaway in Manchester, which, not being funny, you know, you've got all these takeaways with bells and whistles on, giving it up, spending, spending thousands and thousands of pounds. And these guys, the food must be amazing. They just, you know, it's a nice quiet street. I wonder how these guys feel about it, living on here, having the, the you know, the. Manchester's best takeaway on, on their street. Yeah. It do me right, and you know, cameraman. Sat there watching TV, getting a bit peckish. Like, oh, somebody opens the front door and I can smell this. I'll be spending wage here. Huh? Well, I've been taking a mortgage out buying all this curry. So I'm interested to know about like the heritage, really. Where'd it come from? And like looking at that menu, I'm, I'm reading it, and it's obviously a lot of gone food, and I've never had going food to be honest not not i've never been to a gone restaurant never sampled 
delicious food. If it smells, if it tastes like it smells, I'm in for the treat. So I'm interested to know what it's all about and the fusion of food and uh, let's get ready for it. Let's get ready to eat it. Ooh, oh, it's a bit chilling out, Caroline. Uh, we're used to that Californian weather, won't we? In Vegas, New York, we're sweating. Now we're back here in the UK. Whoa, very brisk and fresh today, isn't it? Uh, winter is coming. I'm sat here in these Baltic conditions. <laughs> it's freezing, Caroline. It's starting to rain a little bit. There's a little bit of drizzle coming down on my table. Oh, I tell you something. I know this fat belly could be useful for something. It's a good cushion, but it's a good little hand warmer as well when you tuck yourself up like this. For like a big fat polar bear. I tuck them up under my man boobs. Woohoo, go for that like. Hi, Paul. Oh, keep myself a bit, uh, bit toasty. Toasty, toasty. They might, they might end up having to get some big light up sign, you know. That popular. But, uh, obviously, we're being so. I, I'm just flabbergasted. At, uh, how, how, you know, they've been voted best takeaway in Manchester. Because we've been to some crackers, haven't we? So I'm looking forward to trying food, to be fair. I'll tell you something, guys, I'm sat here with Toad Ruddy on thinking it's going to be a warm day. Caravan, it has got big uh, American duck coat on, keeping himself warm. <laughs> it looks like Eskimo. What what they call that back in the day? Kenny. South Park, that way, he looks like Kenny. We're hood up. Can't get my head up. I've got 23 chins here to get down. Oh, not sure they're not making no fuzzy wuzzy signs. And we've got some, there's some bloke up here. So when you're watching this back, mate, I've heard you six times shout back up road again. He's hiding behind Edge, keeps on phone. He keeps peeping his head round. I don't know if his neighbourhood watch or he's just got a day off. Uh. What's your daughter called? Now then, Katie, are you recording? And Sophie Harley, yeah. Katie and Sophie, how are you doing? I'm sat here, look at this, it lives. I'm having a bit of dinner, hopefully in a bit. Have you been here? Uh, no, but I've, I've, my mate just told me about it. I've just seen it on, um, sent it to the food box, but... All right. It's set to take away and play for... Well, Manchester. Oh, Manchester? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah supposedly. Yeah, All right. I said to her, I said, I'm sure that's the house where it's the Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's that house. Yeah, give him a shout out then, because you're on now. Hey, no. no, don't record him. You can just shout out to them. You shout to them. Hello, kids, how are you doing? Hello, kids. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was nice there, that fresh film there. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank so you. Enjoy anyway. Thank you very much, love. Take care. Bye. See you later. Bye. Oh, cameraman. Are you recording? Are we on? He says, yeah. He says, we're on. We're on. Just like that cold, I thought it might have frozen up. Because <laughs> I have. Like the joint. <laughs> frozen joints here. Oh, here we go. Oh, I've been waiting for this, my friend. Then, yeah. No problem. Yeah. Oh, what we got on here then? That's a small note from oh, the thank you. We hope you enjoy the meals. Please leave a review. Well, I'm sure I shall. Thank you very much, mate. Oh, oh, oh. oh look at this, guys. Right. Oh, so these are the, the croquettes. Oh, they look tasty. Couple of bits and bobs here. Look, nan bread. Woohoohoo! Rice, bit of the old curry curry. Right, so, oh, just starting to rain, cameraman, so we have to get through this, aren't we, before we get wet. Let's open these up, let's get these breathing. Oh, look at that rice there, that does look good. Nice tubs, them, though. Yeah, they'll get washed up and put it in the cupboard there. When I'm doing boiled ham. <laughs> Don't boil them corner. Right, oh, look at that. Oh, that smells nice. 
croquettes. So is this the is this the damn bread or is this the sausage? Oh, oh. Damn bread. Look at that nice little nam. Right, let's go with the appetizers first. Let's take this, get rid of this foil. So this sausage, oh that smells absolutely fantastic. Right, let's try these first. So these are the croquettes, beef croquettes. Wow, look at them. So they look to me, they're a bit similar to like a shish kebab, but they're wrapped in like a, a panko. Oh, they smell good. You know what, come on, this is what, you know, like when I, I was speaking to you, I was saying about that smell. This is it, this is that smell. Right, let's go for it. Oh, wow. Oh my God. So that look, look how soft that is. And it is bursting with flavour. That is so tasty. It's got a right nice little bit of spice to it, but it's not overpowering at all. And when I first got here, there was a distinctive smell that I could smell. And that is it. <laughs> right, so this is the, the sausage with onions in a nice sea of batter. So this is an appetizer. So they're three quid. This is a fiver. That looks amazing for a fiver. It smells. I'm getting a bit of smokiness off of this. Can smell the smokiness. Oh, we're back to reviewing it right here. <laughs> I love it. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh my god. This is what I'm talking about when I'm saying about experiencing new flavours. What you got here? If you look at this, it's like it's chorizo. Spicy, smoky, but the onions have got a nice crunch to them. With that bread, that's not an appetizer. That's a meal. That's a lunch, isn't it? How can that be an appetizer? <laughs> right. Let's get to the main attraction. So this apparently is the most popular curry. What they have, right? Let's try the rice. This, this rice looks good. Look at that, guys. Look at how fluffy. There's no clagginess in there. That is, that is, that looks good. Oh yeah. Nice, soft rice. Then we're moving on to this. Big lumps. Oh, look at that. Potatoes. Oh, look at that big lump of meat there. Oh, look, it's full of it, man. Yeah. Right, let's go for this bit. Be careful, because some of it's got bone in, which I like. Let's taste this. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I tell you something. These taties cooked to perfection. Look at them nice and soft. That sauce. Wow. Get some on here. So the mutton cooked to perfection. I've not got a knife. But these are big bits. I'm just going to have to put this bit in my gob, Hannah. Look at the size of it. Right. Absolutely. Oh, wow. I've got like a, the sweetness of the coconut coming through. And there's loads of spices that's in there. Just popping around my mouth. It's cooked to perfection. I'm trying it with rice. Let's get him. Oh, guys, this for me. I hope, check it out the top. Oh, right. Nam bread. <laughs> Nice little bit of nan bread. Dip it in. Dip diddly dop dop. Let's go. Bosh. Do you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna say this? The whole experience. Apart from this, the smoky cherries, I've, I've sort of had that before. But these two here, these have got flavours in them that I've never experienced before. I've never tasted somewhat like it. And this, it's that coconutty taste, but then it's got a right nice burst of heat. I can feel the heat in the back of my throat now. Lovely fluffy rice. Let, let's go for it, guys. This is a delight. So, as you can see, guys, I've tucked into this. Caraman's carried on because we've got these beautiful beef croquettes in a panko. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, then we have the chorizo sausage, nicely smoked. Bit of spicing in there with the onions. Tasted absolutely great. Okay. Then, 
beautiful rice, nice and fluffy look. There's no clagginess, as I call it, in that, where it's been sat in a rice cooker for hours. That's just perfect. But this curry, big bits of mutton in there. There was some potato, but I've ate it. All right, there might be a little bit that left there. <laughs> Looks like cameraman's not happy. And there was naan bread, but I've ate that as well. I've been a bit greedy today because it was that nice. It was that nice, full of flavour. These two here, I've never experienced flavours like these before. They were just popping off inside my mouth and, and my brain's thinking, wow, what's this? So if you've been here, let me know what you think. If you've not been, definitely come down and try it out. They won the Manchester Takeaway Awards. I can see why. And for me, it's going to be a nice, easy, solid 10. Absolutely bang on. Cameraman, I'm taking that bit of tatey. I'll see you next time. Oh, yes. Wow. Oh. What do you mean? What do you mean? Slow down. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it. Cameraman's having a go, guys, because I've polished them off and I've polished Nam bread off. Look, I'm just going to have a couple more dips, right, and then you can have curry. I know. <laughs> it's morning because I've had more meat as well. I want that tatey as well. That's nice. <laughs> oh, hello. Whoa. Yeah, we're going to go then. How's everything, sir? Absolutely beautiful, mate. You really enjoyed it? Yeah, what do I owe you for it? It's 19 pounds. 19, right, I'll sort you out. So, with this, obviously go and fold it up. If I'm honest with you, yeah. I've never tried anything like this before, this this type of food. And, and these two are just flavours I've never experienced. Okay. And they were really, really nice. So, how did you come about? What's sort of the heritage of it all? Oh. Well, it's uh, in the Portuguese cuisine, so like, you know, the um, the uh, Goan cuisine, it's like, you know, it's a twist of the Portuguese cuisine. Right. That's how we inherited from them, like, you know, and then there are spices, Indian spices that we add to it, like, you know, that gives a uh, good texture and the flavours, like, yeah. you know, it blooms out of it. Yeah, yeah, because I found that with them. I've never tasted anything like that. And when I, when I pulled up, when I come in, I could smell how that tastes. Thank you very much. And I was saying, I hope it's, I hope whatever I'm eating tastes like I can smell, and it did. So now, let me sort you out with some cash. And Thank you very much. All right, yep. there's no need for the change. You can keep that as a one pound tip. Thank you very much. <laughs> one thank pound you. fish. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much. Thank you. And, uh, I hope you really enjoyed with everything. I did. Everything. Okay. Please I did. Do come, and we will be expecting. If I'm in this from. area, well, you'll be getting a review. Eh? That's a review. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, cheers, mate. It Thank was you. Nice pleasure meeting you, and you know, I hope you really enjoyed it. Yeah, Sorry no. For the bit like uh, the delay, like you know. Don't worry. Don't. Do, you, do you know what? It. Sometimes, right? Uh, and this is what I find, especially because I've been to a few places where people have been cooking food from their home. Yeah. And what I find that the best thing about it is, is that it 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 it's fresh, it's warm, it tastes good. Yes. Right? Everything what we do is like we don't buy spicy. I, sorry, we buy spices from the local shops, yeah. but we don't uh, buy any of these stuffs. Like you know, it's nothing been uh, uh, pre-cooked or anything, so yeah. everything is picked. Yeah, and that's it. Absolutely. So personally, I don't mind waiting because you find if you wait longer for your food, right? When it's something like this, it's going to be better. All right. When it's when it's a quick turnaround and, yeah. and somebody's chucking rice and curry at you in three minutes then it's like, how long has that been set there? Yeah. That, that's what I sort of think anyway, but no, the flavours in each of these were amazing, so thank, thank you, you doing much. a good job. Thank you. And good award good. well deserved. Thank you. We are looking for the 19th of November for the uh, National Awards. All right. Yeah. yeah, so we are also the finalist for the National Awards now. Oh, so, we are so it, where's that at then? It's going to be in Birmingham on the all 19th right. of November. Yeah. So you're going to get all suited and booted here and get yes. down there? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Like as we did it for the Manchester Evening Awards. Yeah. 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 Well, best of luck to you. Thank you very I'll much. I'll be rooting for you, don't you Thank worry. You very much. Thank All right, you very mate. Much. Thank you. Keep right. enjoying, keep coming then. Thank you. Right, guys. That's it. I'm going to let cameraman tuck in now because there's a bit of curry left for him. All right. See you soon.